slaying Imo monarchs did not get police permission to hold meetings. CP Rabiu Hussain. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Please listen to the end. Is it not now? It's not supposed to be funny, so I won't say funny. Is it not now outrageous that <laughs> the, the, the people should now take permission from those who do not care? I'm coming to take permission from those who put my life in danger. I am, I am coming to take permission from you who I will tell that this particular place is being robbed and I'll be robbed by you. And then I'm supposed to come and tell you, oh, please, I'll be going to this place today. Oh, oh yes, please. Oh, then that as I'm applying there, the worst happens. Now, I don't understand what is really going on. They are supposed to come and tell you as well. Okay, okay, fine. I hope you should include it in the constitution now that people as well, when they are eating, they should come and take permission from you to eat. They should come and take permission from you to go to the toilet. They should come and take, oh my goodness. This is, this is ridiculous. It is very ridiculous. And how, and do you think it is only you that have the right? We practice a democratic system of government. I think before you carry out any operation, you should tell the civilians we are coming to this environment, stay indoors. If it is that way, we are coming to this environment, there's an operation going here, stay indoors, so that there will be no casualties. We keep hearing news of how the police, police, there, there, were, there, were, there were casualties between the shootouts and it hit an innocent passerby. It hit him, innocent pass, civilians passing by. I hope you are going to start doing that and you are going to come out and start telling the people, oh, we are going to be passing through the side in case so we are chasing um some group of hoodlums and there's bullets flying everywhere i hope it will happen very outrageous very very outrageous please listen to the news the traditional rulers and emo did not get the permission to hold a meeting we are two of them were killed by gunmen on tuesday the state police command said in a statement email police commissioner Rabi Hussein said since hoodlums raised in Jabba Police Division and killed two officers, only policemen on vehicular patrol were posted to the area to help check crime. When the command got wind of attack, the Commission of Police mobilized the command's tactical unit to the meeting venue to avoid the attack. At about 3 p.m., information was received that hoodlums suspected to be members of the proscribed Independent People of Biafra and Eastern Security Network, IPOP ESN, were attacking the venue. It was at where the transitional chairman of Njaba Local Government Council, Mr. Emeka Ihana Cho, was holding a meeting with some traditional rulers. The Commission of Police immediately dispatched the command's tactical teams to the scene and on their arrival, they were informed that the hoodlums had fled the bush on sighting the police. At the scene, it was revealed that the council's traditional chairman had invited and was having a meeting with 15 traditional rulers of Njaba communities without informing the police or other security agencies. While the meeting was in progress, bandits suspected to be IPOB ESN members came and started shooting at them indiscriminately, after which they ran back into the bush. Mr. Huzieni commiserated on the bereaved families with the bereaved families and that the fleeing bandits would be arrested and prosecuted, the statement read. Alongside other federal agencies, the police have faced frequent attacks linked to unidentifying gunmen operating across the southeast in recent months. The police have repeated have repeatedly said they have capacity to secure the region, but the crisis has nonetheless continues to fester. Last month, Chike Akunyili was killed between Onicha and Inugu while returning from an award event in honor of his late wife, Dora. The suspects are still at large. Although the police have insisted that they should be informed ahead of gathering, there is no law mandating civilians in Nigeria to provide information about the legitimate events to the police in advance. If you are going into or you're joining the NPF, the Nigerian Police Force, I believe the main reason of the or the objective which the NPF exists is to protect lives and property of citizens. 
whether they are called or not. It is supposed to be a thing of when you're passing by and you see a civilian being harassed and you see a civilian being um, robbed and you see a robbery, you see a robbery scene, you see a crime scene. It is your duty to step in and make sure things go as in make sure justice is served. That is it. And by justice being served, it is not by firing shots. It is not by you try and become. I do not know. Sometimes, you know, I do not know whether this particular group of people, they undergo orientation and they undergo, you know, they, they are being thought or maybe their thoughts and maybe just as as the years goes by, they kind of forget. And I do not know if there are no orientation in between. There's supposed to be what we call training, just like in, in private companies now. You see them holding trainings for people, even both the senior and the junior workers, to refresh their memory and to keep them afloat of the trending, you know, improvements in technology and our age. It is supposed to be so in all organizations. Maybe they are forgotten. Maybe they do not know. So that those trainings will now, okay, this is supposed to happen. If you come into a situation where there's a crime scene and there's an innocent civilian, you are going to, your primary, your primary thing is to make sure that civilian is not, is not hot. That armless, unarmed civilian does not get hot in the process. But what do we see today? Our police officers, they do not care. You see them chasing hoodlums. They are going to fire shots without forewarning. These people are the ones that are supposed to be telling civilians, we are going, to, an operation is going to go down here. Few months ago, we heard that there was a, um, a bom some bombs, expired bombs detonated in Calabar. And when they were contacted, when the military, they contacted the military, the military said, oh, it's a routine. And I'm saying detonation of bombs are routine. How, how, where, what, how did you, how did we get here? Detonation of bombs. That singular act will send many to their graves. Those that already are suffering from high blood pressure. Wouldn't an information, a pre-information would have done now. They are not telling the civilians to do what they are supposed to do. That a civilian should come and tell them and inform them. It, 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 it is, it is ridiculous. They seem to have lost direction and they're supposed to be, you know, shown the right path. That is why it is going to be suggested that these people undergo orientation. If four times a year it is going to be, or three times a year, at least twice in a year, let them know and know, oh, this is the primary aim of the Nigerian police force is to secure lives and properties of innocent civili civilians so that at the end of the day they will not be.